Hi everyone, welcome to Combined Sunday School for First Trinity, St. Matthew, Lifeline Partnership, uh, any of our friends from Vacation Bible School, all are welcome. I'm Miss Kimberly, I do the Sunday School uh, for First, Ma First Trinity and St. Matthew. And I'm also going to be joined by Pastor Suzanne, who leads a Lifeline Partnership. Sunday school and so many other things. So we're going to start with creating a sacred space and Pastor Suzanne is going to do that for us. After that we're going to have a we're going to do the Lord's Prayer. Then we're going to have a Bible story and we'll also have some send you some fun things that you can work on at home. So I'm really excited about our new format and I hope you like it. Hi everybody, Pastor Suzanne. I'm down here in the First Trinity Fellowship Hall in what we call the Sunday School Room. So before, in normal times, you all would come down here on Sunday mornings and Miss Kimberly would have a story for you and activities to talk about the story and you would, she would have questions and we'd all work together to try to figure out what the Bible story means and what it means for you. So we're still going to do that today, except you all are in your own physical space and we're going to be in our physical space, but we can still come all be together in one space by doing what I call making sacred space. So one of, what, one of the ways that we do that is by lighting a candle. So here's an electronic candle. I'm going to turn it on. And you can see the glow. And that reminds us that the Holy Spirit is here with us. So we're all together in the same space, even though we're physically apart. And the Holy Spirit will be here with us to help us to listen to the story, to talk about what we think it might mean for us. And then to try to figure out what that means when we walk back out the door. So let's get started.
Ta-da! Hi, Becky. Todd, have you received any online messages from Tina lately? You mean her daily kitty quotes? I'm talking about the top ten list. Concerning Joey and how lame he is? She's forwarding it to everyone. Why wouldn't she forward it to me? Todd, it's really hurtful stuff. Tell me about it. I'm deeply hurt that she didn't include me. Todd, this isn't about who she sent it to. It's what she sent. It's really mean, and it's behind his back, and I don't think she should be doing it. Oh, hi, Joey, who is now standing behind Becky. How are you? Great. I learned all my lines for the profits. <gasps> That's so great, Joey. You're great. You have so many winning qualities. No one thinks you're lame. No one. Um, thanks. Oh my goodness, he has no idea. Do you think I should say something to Tina? I don't know, Beck. Tina holds a lot of sway on the internet. She'd be a powerful enemy to make. Oh, hi, Tina, who is standing behind Becky right now. Hi, Todd. Tina, I think what you're doing is wrong. Sending humorous Joey E. Rose to everyone in school except for me. <sighs> Sorry, I must have forgot to CC you. And sent. Thank you. You got the top ten list, right? Uh, yeah, I did. Wasn't it so funny? Yeah, pretty funny. <laughs> See you at rehearsal. Yeah. That is so funny. Joey's ears are too big for his face. Hi, Joey. Thanks so much for coming to rehearsal. It's always so good to see you. I guess. What's wrong, Joey? I don't want to talk about it. Can we just start, please? Let's begin rehearsal, team! This week, we're performing a short piece about the prophet Amos. Joey, you'll be playing the Israelite elder. Tina, you'll be playing King Jeroboam. All right, places, everyone. Let's just walk through from the top. Joey, you have the first line? Oh, sorry. Um, uh, I, I better just do this with the script. <laughs> That's number three! Number three on the list! Joey forgets all his lines! Todd! Joey, what's wrong? Where are you going? I'm just not feeling well. Typical Joey. <laughs> yeah, typical Joey. Todd, I really think I need to say something to Tina. I agree. You should say something. But then I don't want to lose her as a friend. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't say anything. But she's being so cruel to poor Joey. It can't go on like this. Something has to be done. But then, is she just going to turn around and write a top ten list about me? Oh, yeah. You're ripe for satire, Beck. Man, this is a pickle. Becky Frederick. You stand in judgment for not speaking the truth when it needed to be told. But she'll hate me. Truth-telling is hard, lonely, and sometimes dangerous work. But the truth must be told. But Tina holds tremendous sway on the Internet. The prophet Nathan risked his position and even his life in speaking the harsh truth to King David. Nathan serves as a role model for what we are all meant to be for each other. Tell the truth, Becky. The truth! <gasps> Woe to you who long for the day of the Lord. Why do you long for the day of the Lord? Why do you say these things? The Lord asked me to say the truth, though you do not want to hear it. I think your cyberbullying is both cruel and immature. Grow up, Tina. Your words hurt people's feelings. And Joey is a perfectly nice young man who is certainly not lame. Quite the opposite, in fact. Joey's quite... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing some emotional difficulties and the play will not continue. Never fear, I have 75 minutes of untested stand-up comedy that I have prepared for just such an eventuality. <coughs> Joke number one. Does Moses drink instant coffee? No, he brews it. Moving on. Tina, wait! I can't believe you did that! We are not friends anymore! <sighs> hey! 
Hey, Joey, did you know the disciples drove a Honda? I did not. The Bible tells us they were all in one accord. <laughs> hey, Joey. Yeah, Todd. How would you like to have a new boat? I'd love it. Well, I know a guy. Hey-oh.